Rhinos are going extinct. A race against time to save the rhinos. Poachers massacre rhinos for their horns. Some are carved into ornaments. Some are ground up and sold for medicine. Just one of these can sell for as much as $300,000. Poaching became a biggest business. The documentary Hornmaker features entrepreneur Matt Marcus, who says he has a solution to poaching. Create more rhino horns, artificial horn, then flood the market with that. One way to devalue something is actually to create a lot of it. There'd be no incentive to poach anymore. That's correct. And when things are abundant, people don't fight, kill, or, or, or steal. South Africa once tried something similar. For 20 years, they made it legal to own rhinos and sell their horns. Farmers would put the rhinos to sleep with tranquilizer darts, saw off their horns, and sell the horn. Because this was legal, rhino farmers had an incentive to breed rhinos and protect them. The rhino population quadrupled. But then South Africa banned sales of rhino horn again. Poaching went down? No, it went up. It went up by uh, thousands of percent. Opposition from conservationists have not halted the slaughter of rhinos. At least some people learned from that. Shortly after we released the first version of this video, South Africa once again legalized selling farmed rhino horn. Poaching fell dramatically. Marcus's idea, artificial horn, might save even more rhinos. I would think the people who want to preserve wildlife would love this idea. I would think they'd love it too. But no, all these environmental groups hate his idea. This is dangerous. What they're doing is absolutely dangerous for rhinos Why? and their survival. So this is greenwashing, a, an illegal activity. Legal sales, say environmental groups, might increase rhino killing. That happened once with elephants. That started up new carving industry in China that had been dormant for, for decades. It needs to be long enough to bring the prices down. And then people say, eh, there's no money in poaching. So the problem is that people still perceive animals as commodities, as natural resources What's for wrong their with that? use. Yeah, they are. Well, they have inherent I, I eat eggs. That's a commodity from a chicken. What's wrong with that? Are we really going to now just farm every single animal on this planet so we can con endlessly continue supplying this like bloodlust and thirst of people to consume wildlife products? If that's what it takes to preserve the animals, your bans have failed. Poaching is up. A thousand park rangers have been killed by poachers. Your ban is cruel to people and animals. The increase in poaching is a direct responsibility of the folks in China and Vietnam that are pushing this product onto innocent consumers. So sell them a substitute cheap product and this will stop. You people have your head in the sand. Organizations like mine are partnering with the Vietnamese government to reduce demand for rhino horn. And failing. No, we're succeeding. That's the thing. So we've reached about 40 million Vietnamese in the last three years. Reach means 40 million people supposedly saw her public relations campaign. Please help protect my family from rhino poachers. A Humane Society survey found videos like this persuaded many people that rhino horns have no medical value. Don't use rhino horn. It cannot make you healthy. So what? People are still poaching the rhinos. So it takes time. It takes time for that trickle-down effect. It's fine if environmental groups try to convince people not to buy rhino horn, but their hostility to capitalism makes them blind to better ideas. South Africa is going against the international body that's fighting to protect rhinos. So what? These international bodies are stupid. No, well, there are folks like me that, that work to pass these restrictions. But it's like the drug war. You can ban it. But if there's money to be made, mm -hmm. the poachers are still going to kill the animals. Prohibition should have taught us that when something's valuable, banning its consumption leads to lawbreaking and killing. Nobody kills anybody anymore for beer or wine or scotch. When you're talking about beer or wine or scotch, you don't have lives on, on the line. Lives so of the people who were killed by Al Capone. Well, of course, but you know, he was a criminal and you have criminal he networks was here. He a criminal are... because alcohol was illegal. Yeah, I mean, this, this is, this is a, a endless argument. We can't live in a lawless society. <laughs> a free society is not a lawless society. Markets are not lawless. Legal rhino farming or selling fake horn could save endangered animals. But the environmental groups just can't see that.